Hey guys, welcome to the second part of Houdini Disintegration Tutorial. If you haven't watched the part one, it's either you are not interested in Houdini part or you should watch that first. But basically here we will talk about the scene and shader setup for this flaming, flammable disintegration effect. So the scene setup, I've imported our geo alembic particles, which is this. And maybe we should talk about the shading of these particles first. It's pretty easy, you just drag and drop the, the alembic here. And if you have the color, as we had in the, in the, in the previous video, uh, you will have this alembic tag. And then you can just scatter a bunch of spheres uh, to represent the particles. You can use cubes, grids, tubes, any, any sort of geometry, but I'm using spheres. And this is our material setup, so if we go into node editor, you will see that I'm using instance color here and I'm using the color attribute like CD and I have a gradient and this gradient is is determining the, the color of the particles and in the previous video we set the CD to be equal to the age of the particles so basically our just born particles are black then they are this orange color, then this magenta, or yeah, magenta, and then the purple. And I plug that into the diffuse and into the emission. So we have this gradient for the actual texture. And for the distribution, I wanted them to glow insanely red or uh, orange when they are just born and then they sort of fade out so we don't have over bright um, scene we have a bit of contrast and we see the details here but basically this is how you can grab any sort of parameter from Houdini just yeah make sure you set it to the color and then you can shade it and, and make a ramp from it in Octane so that's for the particle shading uh, for the actual lighting just two light sources one is uh, like a rim light and the second one is like a fill or key light from from this side pointing from from here to there so it's pretty pretty easy but now let's talk about the actual disintegration effect um how i did that so we have two materials one is kind of like a rock shader or something and uh I've animated the opacity. It is a 3D linear gradient starting from the very top of the hand and going all the way to the bottom. And there is a bit of turbulence, so it's not that uniform. And if I attach this material to the hand, you will see that as I'm dragging it, we are also zooming out, but we have this cool and uh, not uniform disintegration effect just done with only the help of the shader but i wanted a small outline that's glowing so it's kind of like you know when the paper is burning there's this thin edge that is that's glowing and so what i did i did another material which basically resembles that same gradient uh, so if i attached here you can see it's basically that same disintegration effect then we have the mix material and basically is the hand and our emissive material but let me show you the mixing basically what i'm doing here is that exact same gradient that we are using in the hand and in the in the emission but uh, i have the white color from the left and from the right and i have this tiny tiny little kind of line of the black color and basically what it what it says it goes hand before and hand after and when it's black it will be this emissive material and uh, the thing is i wasn't able to perfectly time it so i added a bunch of keyframes every like 100 frames but the thing is it looks really cool and uh, i think it's a great foundation for any sort of burning effects in uh, in cinema or yeah i think it's it's pretty easy to 
redo that in any sort of other renders. Also, what helps to sell this effect is, um, I think we can add some bloom. Yeah, like this. And maybe some glares, um, blow the glares. So this, yeah, this looks much more like a, like a burning effect. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, when you combine all of that, you will have seen that looks kind of like this. Let me turn on the, the background so it's better for you to see. So, yeah, maybe not, not that much of the bloom, but you get me. Yeah, that's uh, your basic disintegration effect in Houdini and Cinema 4D and Octane Render. Thanks a lot for watching and as always all the project files are available in the link in the description on my website. There are a bunch of cool stuff, bunch of assets, presets, all that kind of stuff that will make your 3D life easier and I'm really really glad that you are supporting me and purchasing my project files. That's how I can spend more time doing these tutorials and sharing cool stuff with you. I'll be back very soon. Bye.